Hello and welcome back to Lorefit and Gaming Plays Bard's Tale Trilogy Remaster. I am your host Lorefit and today I will be diving into Bard's Tale Tales of the Unknown. Now here's an update on my uh, characters, why I love them off screen. I have gotten them to 5 so this time we will actually survive the sellers for a bit more. First let's go over the uh, spells of our casters. Besides the compass and stuff from the other levels we have Arkline's Mage Star which is like a blind spell and foes will miss their next round turn if it hits. Lesser revelations like Mage Flame, but reveals secret doors. Very nice. Uh, levitation up ahead will make you levitate so you avoid traps or go up and down the portal, which is real nice. Last but not least of my Conjurer spells in this bunch I love the most is War Strike. This is like a group damaging spell. It does 4 to 16 damage now, but as you level up later on, it does much, much more damage pretty useful. So now let's go to the magicians. Let me see here. Besides getting Holy Water, Wither Strike, and Gauntlets. Area Chant, it tells you uh, where the stairway is. Uh, Yava's Mrs. Shield is like a AC lower spell for party members. It has a timer so you gotta cast that a few times. Orc and Orc Strength allows a uh, party member damage much after their orcs and this also just gives a Mithril Might more natural armor. Now the best spell is Star Flare. The 6 to 24 on a group of enemies and more distance. I think plus 30 meters. They're really nice spells overall. So now let's go on our way to the cellar. As I said before I got everybody to 5 so now we could be able to survive that much much more better than last time. Instead of having low low um, MP because um we had a cast heal a lot, and they didn't have the uh, War Strike and Star Flare spell. Okay, last of our uh, money mobs. We see until we uh, get into the sewers, then we do them from now on. And let's see how this goes down. Alright, plate mail, that is nice. Let's see where we're going. Alright, we're going to go into the gate right now and enter the tavern into the cellar. Uh, when I get back from the short break, we will wreck the cellar and earn the uh, something smelly achievement when we uh, go down the stairs to the sewer. So stick around for the uh, break and then afterwards we'll do more. Tired of a boring life? Join the assassins today. Here at the assassins you will learn to stealth kill as you see before you. We even teach our new disciples the art of hay pile assassinations. Look at the size pool go. Join the assassins today and you will be climbing to new heights and see the world as you never see it before. Welcome back and now we are covering a path to the sewers. For now we're just going to explore everything and test our new spells. I see three skeletons, three hobgoblins, and one dwarf. So let's me see. Fenton and Kale are just gonna, just gonna attack. Same thing with Stevie. Hide and shadows on Echelon. And let's check what the casters do. I don't think I'm gonna be able to war strike these guys. Yeah, we're gonna conserve some mana. Arc fire and skeletons. And now Abyss has holy water. So it's got enough mana. We'll just throw us a few on the skeletons, which is alright damage. And it's not better than repel dead you get later on with the wizards. Alright, here's the thing. Kaylor has a 2 damage now, 2 times damage. When it's 2 swings, boom, MD goes down sometimes because it, it, Kaylor got the 5. It only works, I think, with warriors, maybe monks. I have to experiment that in uh, future playthroughs with the monks. But it's all good still. And the foe went down fast because of the new levels. And let's see if nobody uh, gets poisoned this time. Unlike last time in the video. It was funny, but not funny at all. Yep, that was good gold. Let's do some more exploring. And one thing is a tip that I'm doing wrong at the time is I didn't have Kellar's Magic Compass. You always have that on there so your map doesn't flip around. I found that the hard way, as you see uh, throughout this video. Okay, four barbarians and two skeletons. I think it's time to test our new toys out. Just have uh, everybody did what to do, one through four. Now let's see, part breaker. 
cast four strike a very good spell magi abyss okay he's going to do the holy water um, routine and let's see here Kalar kill uh, did damage Fenton killed him with critical hit actually got discovered unfortunately and magi abyss only could get one skeleton damage and look at that go the barbarians I think um, almost got taken out so one skeleton one barbarian we should not waste uh, mana at all Oh, I mean spell points. Yep, and Fritten does another crit again. Now let's see what we uh, procured this time from the chest. Now on this level, the sellers you're not going to get much. You just get the normal stuff dropped from the uh, Streets of Scarab Bray. But if uh, lower you get on certain dungeons, you get much better loot. And believe me, it is pretty good. Alright, let's see what we're going to just do for a more exploration at this point. I think we're going to go back, looks like we're going to go back to that 50-year-old uh, wine cellar. Yep, it's going to be some revenge. Yep, one hot goblin, one thief, and the two mercenaries from the same mercenary company that's been after us all this time. And, yeah, we just said screw it, we'll attack and defend since it's just a measly group of foes. Now mercenary, same thing. Everybody's gonna attack. Casters defend. If you see an opportunity like this, you don't have to cast magic. Uh, take it. It's pretty good. Uh, let's see what we will find this time. And they all took a while. And because Echelon just got a little bit higher level, his chances of uh, discovering traps and such just went up big time. So now I'm just gonna go ahead to the. Uh, I think it's the 10 year old wine room. Now there's a trap there. If it's 30 meters and you have a spell that reveals traps and such, always cast a trap zap. It's a pretty good option. And it's also pretty neat to do that. So it saves you from getting damage. Or in some instance you will get turned to stone. Now I showed you all right there if you didn't have trap zap or didn't do anything to disarm it, you get zero gold and possibly lose any drops. And as on this map icon, there's like, a, I think it's a trap zap, a trap icon. Yep. And I got smart and just cast uh, the magic compass, which is all good now. And we're just going to explore more of this room. And like I said before, if that gets revealed on the map, before you actually step on the square, and if it's trapped, it always trap zap it. If you don't, well, we get damage. Just a nice reminder again. And I'm gonna think I'm gonna show you the spinner floor. Yep. We got spun around. Now we face six barbarians. I think it's time to test uh, Star Flare. And, or, yep, War Strike. Star Flare. Now we're just gonna see the difference between the two spells. Now at this point, it's a shift with our uh, melee guys. They'll do damage, but the caster does much, much more damage because they have spells now that are better. Alright, Luna just got, Alina just got two killed, Magi Abyss got one, two, finished them off. And that does more damage Star Flare, which is really nice. Later on when you switch around roles, like uh, Magi Abyss becomes Conjurer, and the other two becomes Magicians, and they're around the same level again. Have everybody cast Star Flare, that's right. Magi Abyss from the previous class, if he changed from a 13, uh, Magician to Conjure it will still has his uh, Magician spells, which is real nice. It's very useful later on when you all get the Sorcerers. You have uh, Mangar's Mind Blade, which does even more damage. And so far for now, we're just going to prep up and heal before we explore on more. And let's go, um, go look for some more trouble. And let me see here. Yeah, look like I think it's time we're going to go to the sewers. I think I had enough exploration. Yeah. Okay, I think the store is like two foes. One set of foes go in, another set of foes. If you look for experience, that's just pretty good. At this point, I think magicians were just learning to quickly take them out. Well, in this case, they're alone, so that was no choice. That was like a default. Yeah, let's kill them. And we'll see here. Yep. Now we're just going to the second room, which is a little tougher. Orcs and bar um, spiders and barbarians. 
I had them. I made a mistake of having to array defend time, but now let's go uh, check this out. War strike on the barbarians. I think Abyss is just going to kill the spider off. Now these spiders don't poison, but later on the other variants, if they land a hit, they will poison you. For now, it's no worries. I will explain in a future video when that actually does start. And yep, we finished most of this off. Just have the melee guys just uh, do the rest. And let's examine this. See what we have. I don't think there's any mithril. If it is, I'll say it, and I'll suggest people yeah farm it for a bit. Scale mail, yeah, that's not bad, just good to sell. Now, I think we had enough playing with these guys like a chew toy, so we're just going to explore. So far, I got most of the map done. I will be using the map a lot in the video, the auto map feature, because it's new, and if it's something new like that, yeah, you should always take advantage in these games, no matter uh, how stubborn you are. It can't help sometimes new features. Now, we got three dwarfs and one nomad, so it's going to be an easy fight. We got three knee choppers. All right, I should not done. Okay, good. Yeah, I think we're just gonna cast arc fire since it's 20 meters away. Yeah, we're going a little bit conservative and right there and then. Look like we got two doors. Just have everybody attack. Screw it. And let's go examine the trap before we uh, get to the sewers right there and then and looks like it's gonna be a poison needle nothing alright now let's go more to the sewers and look we look we got something smelly achievement and I'm wondering magician we're just going to ignore so that's how you get the smelly achievement just by entering a sewer all the achievements in this game is easy well, that's about does it. In my next video, I will fully explore Sewers Level 1. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Farewell all. And watch out. Look out for something when you step on in the sewers. It can be real bad if you're not careful.